Do, do you have any means of contacting her now? Well, no. We're supposed to meet up at an island in the dark. Ooh, why don't you give us uh, directions to that island? Oh, wait, no, he could just lie to us. He could just lie to us and distract us. Did I just give him an idea? I feel like I shouldn't be saying this in front of him. <laughs> oh, You know, if nothing else, at least you're upping the further mystery. <laughs> yeah, I could give you directions. Yeah, sometimes to get a good mystery, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> oh, actually, no, it wouldn't work. Quickly has a nose for this, so never mind, I guess. I can, I can plug it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean a nose for the lightning, not for mysteries. I would never ask you to plug your mystery nose. Yeah, you know, I can, I can smell lightning, much like I can teleport things and people off of our ship if they lie. <laughs> so, I think we should be good. Yeah. Uh, Right, um, yeah, I'll give you directions. <laughs> oh, excellent. Well, this turned out probably, okay after all. You can probably... I feel like Clover might have a really good knack for telling if people were lying anyway. So probably, between yeah. that and Quigley's um, navigational skills, I feel like we could probably just take whatever he says. Uh, he gives you a compass that points towards the island that he was supposed to rendezvous at. Uh, so it's going to be pretty easy to hunt it down. It is, based on the angle it is pointing at, it is not the place that Alicia said that her leader would be at. So Clover is going to take his hands, look him dead in the eye, as if to convince him that she's a human lie detector. <laughs> he's, he's being totally honest. Uh, this is, you can tell that this is probably like a, a midpoint, like a midway point uh, between the dark and the... Like the weather base they had? I guess we can stop there first. And remember, like if, it, it, if you lied, Clover's going to be really disappointed in you. And that is pretty <laughs> much the worst thing ever. I've never been disappointed in anyone. Not even the guy who got away. <laughs> he frowns. Uh, and I assume that you set off? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Are you heading towards that island that he notified you about? Yeah, we come back up onto deck, yeah. alert everyone that the mystery was, quote, low tier, and they should all go back <laughs> about their business. I guess we can, we should, we should verify with the old, uh, her crew. Yeah. And just let her, maybe they'd know something about the rendezvous point. Uh, Alicia informs you that, yes, that is in fact a rendezvous point that they would use whenever testing in the dark. Uh, it, it is a convenient halfway point between... Uh, Bright and their island. They have a small camp set up there. Uh, Alicia says it sounds like that there are probably some mercenaries or sellswords that Vysotsky has waiting there for you guys. Well, if Vysotsky isn't there, then we could at least put a strong hampering on whatever other mercenaries would be coming after us later. That's a good point. Do you have, like... Do you have, like... Not a keepsake, but some item or note, like like a writ of authenticity that we could give one of these guys so they could pass it along. I that would be like, hey, we're alive. I I suppose. I mean, I I she pulls out like a, a stamp seal, but I mean, you'd have to get it to her pretty quickly. I mean, you could try to negotiate with her once we get there. Yeah, let's do that. It'll go fine. It'll go fine. <laughs> It'll go fine. Everybody likes us. We are. Nobody has ever not liked us. <laughs> That's a fact. Even this Everybody guy likes back us. At the storm cloud they didn't befriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fredlin, how do you feel about us so far? Uh, Dom he like shrugs. comically You're jingles, fine. comically <laughs> jingles the chain that he's wrapped around like thirty times in <laughs> that we've just been leading him around by. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're fine, and that's great. Anyway. Onwards, into the dark! Uh, alright, yeah, you set off towards the dark. Uh, and this is going to be another one of those montage scenes. It has been coming up on a week now, uh, since you first departed Bright. Following the direction of the compass given to you by Fredlin, you approach a rocky island, similar to the one that you found in Bright, <laughs> but much more damp, uh, cluttered with short vegetation, uh, small plants with long, wide uh, leaves and branches. Uh, you see amidst them a, a small gathering of tents. You also see extending from there, uh, kind of a, a ways off from the island, another ship. 
Uh, you haven't seen this ship before, but Quigley, you you realize that it is a ship built for speed. Don, you realize that the ship by that island is a slicer. Uh, it is primarily best for cutting through rainy weather. Okay, uh, class, pop quiz. What type of ship is that? Uh, a couple of them mumble out an answer. Some of them get it right. Most of them do, actually. And what we're doing right now is called tacking. It's how we move horizontally through the air. <laughs> the bungee cord is once again at maximum <laughs> stretch. The entire class yo-yos back and forth. <laughs> uh, you see, uh, it was recently raining on the island. It looks staffed. That ship has its lights on, has its lamps on. You're not in the dark yet, but you're approaching the twilight frontier. Uh, you can tell that there are presently people in the camp. So, guys, what do you think we do? How do we, how do we get up to them showing that we mean no harm? We show up to them with their friend in tow. That sounds good. Is there any way to stop them from taking pot shots at us at first? I know it's bad form to use the white flag before, you know, a full surrender of your ship, so we probably shouldn't do that. I will block them. <laughs> <laughs> if they attack? Quigley, do you think you could stealthily get us in there? Hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do that then. Let's get up close, and just like we did with the pirates in the cavern, since that worked out well, I look over to Elysia for confirmation, we'll Nods. surprise them with our diplomacy. It's like a sneak attack, except the attack is words... <laughs> Being nice. Should also bring the old crew, maybe? Absolutely. So it's a plan. Quigley, take us in. I don't know why I'm whispering now. They can't hear us yet. <laughs> they can't. We're really far away, but I appreciate it. <laughs> they can't know our plan. <laughs> I guess, well, this is sneaky, sneaky peekies, so Quigley's going to use makes a rainbow. Even if they see us, there's nothing more acceptable than a rainbow that's a fact true uh, all right this is going to be a two-card challenge uh Great. if you succeed you uh i imagine you want to like approach unnoticed yeah um yeah basically the plan they just outlined okay uh if you fail you will not approach unnoticed there will be people waiting for you once you once you arrive great all right and flip okay i have an eight and a jack Okay. Um, just for funsies, he's going to crown that with a, ooh, a three. Ooh. Don't be too powerful. I've got a five and a six. Ooh. I'm assisting uh, with a two, by the way. Getting that nice. two so out of my hand. And I will also <laughs> assist with a two. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, Unless we don't so need that, it, and then I'll just save it for I, another I would assist. keep at least one assistance for later, I yeah. think. Don's really good at assisting. Don't worry. All right. Yeah. You are uh, sneaky beepers. You saddle on up to the island. You jank your ship closer to theirs. <laughs> and you have free run of things. Go ahead. I want to in both intimidate and diplomatize them at the same time. Spotlights, everything. Crossed arms. We look okay. cool also. That's, okay. that's important. <laughs> yeah, so I would like them probably not to fight us. <laughs> that okay. would be the one. That's going to be a two-card challenge, because you did sneak oh, up and I'm very... just going to be ready to block any shots. Well. <laughs> okay. That's good. I will protect them all. Okay. So what precisely do you want uh, from your success? Uh, I would you like them... look cool. I want to look cool. Uh, I want the three of us in particular to look cool with the spotlights blaring and all that shit. Okay. Um, uh, and I want them to... Uh, I want all of the mercenaries to turn around, stare at us, and not attack... And likely become not hostile. I want to prevent future battles with these guys. Okay. Yes, you want good. to prevent future battles. Oh, uh, okay, if you don't succeed, <clears throat> shots will be fired immediately. Okay, okay. Uh, and a luck draw will be made to determine who is hit. That's a great Ready to block, though. Uh, yes, uh, and you can, yeah. A and the shot will be a, uh, a grievous wound. Ooh. Which okay. is one step down from mortal. Which, which, okay. yeah. Uh, this is a three, uh, sorry, this, I said it was a two card challenge? Yes. All right. I'm ready uh, when you are. Yeah, I've got my cards. All right. Flip. I have a queen and a ten. I have a king and a ten. So we oh. escalate. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, sorry, first, we each crown. 
You are trying to negotiate. Yeah. So I you cr- get to crown that. I crown with a jack. Holy shit. I do too. You crown with a jack. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we escalate. Good. Yeah. Prepare for trouble <laughs> and to make it trouble. Uh, uh, suddenly the spotlights blare on, revealing us standing on the front of the ship. <laughs> Hold your weapons, noble mercenaries! We're oh, they're all pointing the guns at us. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I, and <laughs> we dive down simultaneously. I don't know why I thought that would work. <laughs> you have to play cards of the same suit. If you can't, uh, then I win. If I can't, uh, and you can, then you win. If we both can, what? we do we do a random luck draw. Okay. How do we escalate? We have okay. to we have to decide on additional stakes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we've just we've just hit the deck because they're all pointed guns at us. Um, I'm going. I didn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Clover's still chilling up there. Uh, I guess we take cover. But uh, uh, Don quickly dives behind Clover, sweating profusely. <laughs> Thank you, Clover. You're the, the best. Did I ever mention you're the best? The entire <laughs> ship is in like a straight line right behind Clover, and anytime <laughs> she turns, they all run. <laughs> okay. I, so. Uh, what would you like out of these escalated stakes? Uh, I would like Dawn to summon her courage in a split second as, like, all these guns are pointed at us. She's gonna, she's gonna, like, stride out in front of the shield and actually give a speech that disarms now agitated people. Like, before we had the element of surprise and all this other junk, but now they're clearly furious. This is an actual legendary move instead of a, a, a contrived one, let's say. Okay, actually, so- if, I, if I could, if I could make a suggestion, I want them on our side. Oh, I, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> and like, they think- they If we're think- escalating, let's escalate. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> they think that we're so badass, like, that- that uh, they think that we're so badass that Don becomes their boncho. Like, okay. yeah, she's yeah. the Don boss becomes now. their badass leader. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we get another ship when we go down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! That's a good way to save it. Okay. Uh, all right. If you fail, they are going to just uh, open fire. <laughs> uh. Your ship will take so much damage that you will lose your ex- your supply cache. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready to flip? Yes. Assist, though. Yeah, please flip. assist. I assist with two. I've got- I assist with three. I've got a jack. Does it crown? A jack? Yeah. No. I was really hoping. <laughs> no, it does not Wait. crown, but I only got oh. an eight. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was all okay. I could play. Okay, yeah, I, I, we my, got so much. My hand is now exhausted already, but uh, yeah, no, that was oh, fucking worth it. That okay. was great. I'm getting Don't, really good cards. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, you feel Clover, you feel behind you, Don, like curling up into a ball for a split second, like tears forming in her eyes. She, uh, oh. she sort of like clenches her fist, seeing the line of bees, and also quickly like three or four people back waving at her. <laughs> she turns <laughs> around, suddenly inspired, strides out from behind the shield. Uh, puts her foot up on the front of the, um, God, what's the, on the front of the bow and actually delivers in a booming voice, hold mercenaries, please put your weapons down. We mean you no harm. Uh, you can see them kind of shifty eyed looking back and forth at each other. And there's one (laughs) standing, there's this lady standing at the front. She has like, you notice she has very discreetly her hand raised (laughs) in a position and she kind of very slowly lowers it. (laughs) <clears throat> we we mean you no harm. Absolutely none. We've come with members of your crew or the crew of your employer. If you don't believe me, shoot me now, but please spare my crew. That was really cool. Hey, thanks. <laughs> her, her leg, like, the leg that's up on the bow is, like, rock solid. The other one's just wiggling all over the place. <laughs> Quigley fires an arc of lightning right after, please spare my crew. So even though she's kind of shaking, it's like, it does that thing where there's strobe <laughs> lights in a, <laughs> there's, there's like strobe lights in a nightclub. So you only see like one frame at a time and she looks totally like stoic, like a statue. <laughs> yeah, suddenly, stoic like a statue. Uh, muscles binding up in her back. She lets out another, now more forceful. If you're mercenaries of noble hearts, put down your weapons and parlay. All we need to do is talk, please. Uh, there's a very tense moment 
amongst all of those armed mercenaries standing in the foliage. Uh, and it's very quiet, very eerily quiet down here in the twilight. Uh, the and dusk. you see that woman step forward. She makes uh, another discreet gesture. Uh, and most of the mercenaries back off. They go about their business, but a small few stand at the ready. Uh, and she approaches, moving closer to your ship, and she shouts out at you and says, Noble hearts, huh? Yes. You think that we're mercenaries with noble hearts? It looks back over at Clover and quickly, y yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. We firmly believe it. Well, then today's your lucky day. Is it? <laughs> Well, it is, yes. Today is <laughs> our lucky day. <laughs> Any day oh that we Oh my god! <laughs> Shouts Ramus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so do you want to come on our ship? It'd just be to talk. We've got tea if you want it. Also, my voice is getting really tired of screaming this loud. <laughs> <laughs> I could use a spot of tea. And I'm told that you've got Fredlin on your ship. around and looks at the guy we still have comically chained up. He shrugs. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I, can I, so in the fact that we, that we won that escalation, can I put forward that Fredwin is like the golden boy of this mercenary group that fucking all of them love and they're just ecstatic that he's safe and <laughs> yeah, kept, cool. him, yeah. kept him in good condition. Is Fredlin, is Fredlin alive? Yes! Like I said, we trust that you have noble hearts, and all those that fly with us also have noble goals and aspirations. Fredlin has, turns around and looks at him, joined us, turns around and looks at him, for now, because he too <laughs> shares Fredlin our noble with goals. Us. <laughs> He's with us. <laughs> she uh, runs a hand through her hair and shakes her head, uh, and she says, I could go for some tea. You have any milk? 